Hello, I'm Tim Durbin with Durbin's Bee Farm. The next short video is going to be showing our oldest son using a shop vac to actually secure a swarm of bees uh, until we can get them back and get them, save them and get them in the hive. Uh, pay, pay attention. Um, uh, he points out why he cuts the hole in the bottom of the shop vac and uh, also the generator. Whether you have a bee vac or you've converted a shop vac like this to, to vacuum up bees, you must, you have to have it, uh, the, uh, the, the, the bee vac or the shop vac, it must be running all the time. Uh, this vacuum cleaner must be running. Uh, if you don't, uh, they will, they will, will uh, get hot and die. There's not many guarantees in beekeeping, but that is a guarantee. And uh, this shop vac, you can actually use it again as a shop vac. Uh, and most of y'all probably have a shop vac, so uh, the only thing you'd have to buy, I think my son said he paid $135 for that uh, generator on Amazon, but uh, it's a small generator, and uh, it'll probably pay for itself uh, in, uh almost pay for itself the first swarm you get <laughs> so uh, 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 if y'all if, if any of y'all are look if any of y'all are looking for uh, uh, good fresh bee pollen uh, we've got it and down below this video is our website and uh, I take the Queen's Delight Queen's Delight is our product it's got propolis royal jelly and bee pollen in it I'm 74, and uh, it's for energy and nutrition, and I've been taking it for years. It's a wonderful product, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to have to move. All right, so uh, we've done several videos on uh, rescuing a swarm of bees using uh, a shop bag. And, and then this is just a plain old shop bag. And for honeybees, the, the real secret is to, is to have... The, the hose coming into the bottom of the shop vac so that you do not kill the bees. They come in the top, you'll kill them. But they come in the bottom, they'll land in the open space, and it will not hurt them whatsoever. You'll have uh, zero fatalities. And the other secret is to use uh, a wood uh, sawdust collection hose because it's very smooth on the inside. So when the bees travel through the hose, they're not hitting sharp ridges, uh, and they'll go. Uh, when you do this, you want to move very quickly. You begin to uh, spread the aroma of the queens, especially once the queens in here, and they will begin to fly all over. So once we begin this, we will go very quickly and suck them all in here, and then we'll leave this vacuum cleaner on a, on a summer day. You want to leave the vacuum cleaner running all the time until you put them into the beehive. Uh, otherwise, they'll overheat if you put them in the back of the vehicle and just turn it off. So, we're going to crank it up. I actually have a, a plug on the top so that all the suction will come through the bottom. I use a little wider piece here. We'll just go from the bottom and suck them up. Uh, and then we should be able to move pretty quickly. Here we go. Ideally, 
I would even probably have a little bit bigger uh, for a situation when they're hanging because when you do a big glob of them in, some of them will fall. If you had a if you had a um, a pan or something to put underneath just to keep them from dropping completely, then you can literally suck them all up without even a, a group of them falling and going airborne. And at that point, uh, you don't have any problems. If they're on a wall, you can go and suck them up the wall uh, and, and really don't have any drop. But in case you've got a big fall, ideally I should have had like a piece of cardboard or something underneath to keep them from dropping down and keep them from flying around. But they'll settle down very quickly and then one is coming to back them up. You can even put, you can even hold the hose down here and just, you can just let it sit there and get a way to fix it. As they fly by, you'll, you'll just suck them in. Uh, I won't sit here and show all that, but I will. Once you're traveling, you can see the bees. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. Now, the bees, the suction of the vacuum cleaner, they cannot come out. So as we're traveling, you know, going back uh, to wherever we're going, the bees, they'll just sit there at that hole and they will not come out. So you can travel as far as you want. You're keeping them cool and you keep them from ever coming out by just letting it run on a generator. And you know, I just use a little old small generator. Yeah, so there's a little 1800 watt. You can get that on Amazon for about uh, 125 bucks. So work, works like a champ. So anyway, that's it. We'll go ahead and cut it off we're going to wait on these just to finish settling down we'll vacuum all those up and then uh it'll be mission accomplished in about you know four to five minutes they're captured all right uh, yeah that hive i was in front of the queen is not laying good and uh, and uh they're 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 uh they're mean so i hope that i can video my going in there and finding that queen and requeening that hive soon uh and one other thing, uh, uh, you know, everybody's got a fear uh, of something, you know. I reckon my greatest fear is, and uh, uh, when I'm in line at the final judgment, I'll be behind Mother Teresa, and I'll, I'll hear God uh, tell Mother, Re Mother Teresa, say, you know, you could have done more. So, uh, uh Y'all have a good day, and I hope you enjoy the, enjoyed it.